Morning guys. I don't know what to do with myself today. I have the day off. It's unneeded. Um, it's still an extension. I think I mentioned in my last video that I had time off because we were supposed to go to Vegas for my son's football stuff, but didn't happen. So we are in town, but I kept my days off that I had already pre-planned for that trip because I can and I wanted to. So anyway, the kids are all at school. I just made myself an iced white mocha to drink. Super unhealthy, nothing good about it, but it tastes delicious. So who cares is what it is. In fact, I just posted a short um, of me making it. Asha, she has been so whiny today. Anyway, I don't know what to do with myself today. It is disgusting outside. I still haven't picked up more, um, what you would call it, seed starting mix um, to be able to start more seeds. So we aren't doing that today, but I don't know what we're doing today. I've been so extremely lazy this morning. I've been up since four, which is my normal wake up time to get everybody up and moving, including myself during the week when I work. Um, you know, you, just because I have today off doesn't mean that my life comes to a halt. I still have to get people up and going and delivered to where they belong. So whether that be work or school or whatever. But anyway, I need to get up, get off my butt, get something going today. I actually did majority of my house chores in the last couple of days. So really all I need to do today is sweep and mop the house, but the bathroom's clean. I need to actually unload the dishwasher and there's a few dishes in the sink that I could load. But laundry is all washed, dried, folded, put away. Everything's pretty much done aside from the floors. So mm. I do need to marinate chicken. So we're going to probably, st I have some chicken breasts that I took out of the freezer yesterday. I was supposed to be used for dinner yesterday, but they weren't thawed in time. I took them out a little bit too late. So we need to get those out today, get them marinated. I'm not sure what I'm going to, I might just rub them in whatever seasoning sound good at the moment and just let them sit in that all day. But I think we're going to stick those in the air fryer. And then we have some green beans that need to get used up. So I bought them at Costco the other day when we were there. So we need to use these guys up. They still look pretty good, but they won't be they won't be too good for too long. So let's go ahead and grab the chicken out of the fridge. Here it is. Anyway. We are gonna do that, I guess. That'll take up a whole maybe five minutes of our day today. And then I gotta figure out what the heck I'm doing with the rest of it. I don't like touching raw meat. I'm gonna get some gloves on before I mess with this. I honestly am not a big meat eater to begin with. Don't you like that? That's pretty classy. The broken drawer right there. My Hercules son, my youngest one, actually broke that like, I don't know, it's probably been two years. I just haven't fixed it because the sliders broke off the side and I, it's more work than I feel like putting into it, so. Let's get this chicken out of this bag, out of these bags. So gross. I'm sure you guys can hear Asha's little toenails running around here. I need to actually trim her toenails today. Gross, chicken blood. Anyway, this chicken comes with two breasts still together, so we are gonna separate those. On you go. Okay, and trim off some of this fat. So the one issue with getting our meat at the restaurant store is it's definitely not super high quality. So disgusting. But when you live on a budget, 
like myself, raising multiple kids by yourself, you do what you can to stretch that dang dollar, especially with inflation and all that crap that's gone on in the last four years. All right, let's separate this guy. And I'm gonna cut off that little bit right there too. All right, let's throw a little bit of oil and some seasoning in there. I don't know what happened to that chicken breast, but you can see if you can see through it. Whatever. All right. And take one glove off, one hand to like mix the chicken once I dump some seasoning in there. And this one will be to grab all the seasonings and throw them on top. We will start with some salt and pepper. that stuff on. Some good old pepper. Another household staple outside of salt and pepper for us is garlic powder. the rest of that in there because there wasn't too much left. And we'll throw in some onion powder. Mm -hmm. That was a little bit more than I planned on, but that's okay. Might as well throw in some parsley flakes. I don't know if people can tell the difference in taste, whether parsley flakes are added to food or not. Personally, I just think it makes the food look prettier. <laughs> I don't think it, I've noticed any taste difference with or without it in recipes, but I've never really tried to pay attention. Oh, let's see here. Yes, I buy all these monster things of, um, seasonings and spices and stuff because we don't eat out. I don't make enough money to afford to take myself and depending on how many kids are at home out to eat. So, so we do a lot of cooking at home. Sorry, that this is ground mustard. So we're adding ground mustard. Um, Paprika, parsley, salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. And honestly, I think I might just leave it at that. It'll be super simple. All right, so as I was saying, my son came home from school and scared the crap out of me. So I abruptly stopped filming for a second. But anyway, we got our spices and stuff all in there. So I'm just gonna mix this all up. Until everything is pretty much evenly coated. And then I'll stick this guy back in the fridge until it's time for dinner. And then we'll use some of those green beans tonight and use up, um, I'm not sure what else. We'll figure it out. We have some potatoes that need to be used. So maybe I'll do some roasted potatoes and stuff too. But anyway, there is our marinated chicken for the night, or for dinner tonight. Clean hands. I'll still wash them though, don't worry. But I'm gonna stick this in the fridge. I think I'm just gonna sit for a little bit and work on some content planning, but also um, go through this month and make sure I have all of my appointments and stuff for not just myself, but the kids all jotted down. Um, make sure I have all of our tournaments um, for out of town jotted down and 
plan for those so I can figure out the ones coming up this month and next month that I need to prepare to plan a hotel for, um, figure out gas budget, food budget, all that kind of stuff because, well, it's yucky outside. It is raining and that backyard is a complete freaking mess. But I'm not going to go play in the rain today. I'm actually, I feel cold. I've been cold all day and I don't know why. So hopefully I'm not trying to get sick or anything because usually I'm not a cold person, but I've been bubbled up, have a blanket over my lap. But I also think I'm going to jump on the treadmill here pretty soon um, and get rid of this baby gate. Where is it? There it is. That baby gate. Get rid of that thing. Um, put that up when Asha was little because she had one hell of a time potty training and it took us like, I don't know, five months or something, six months to finally get her potty trained and knock on wood, she hasn't had an accident in the house in a couple weeks, few weeks, something like that. So I also think part of the problem is, is having people here that are with her at the moment, um, paying attention to her cues because her cues when she needs to go to the bathroom are really subtle. Although she's getting better at letting us know um, more that she needs to go outside. She'll actually come up to me anyway and nudge me under the arm or against my leg or if it depends on if I'm standing or sitting and then she'll bolt to the door if I ask her what's up. So she's getting better at it. But before it would be like a two second nose touch to the door and she'd walk away. And if you didn't happen to see that, which most people won't in a two second period of time, you forget about the floor. It's, it's done for. <laughs> so I'm just glad she's finally potty training because she's 10 months old now. Yeah. She turned 10 months on the 30th. So, and she's a giant puppy. So she's like 65 pounds or something. She's a big girl. So she's only going to get bigger. Anyway, I'm going to move on to the boring stuff, the paperwork portion of planning and doing all that jazz. I have, I think, 45 minutes before I have to go get my son from his job. Yeah, about 45 minutes. Anyway, so I think I am going to just get a quick walk on the treadmill taken care of before that happens. And then go get him, come back, probably shower at that point because I don't think I'm going to have time ahead of time before I leave. Yep. Sorry for the poor lighting, guys. I don't have any lights on in the house right now. It's just me and the dog home, so there's no reason to have them all on. But I am doing my cool down real quick about to hop off here in about a minute and a half I've done 40 minutes um just did low impact walk um at three miles per hour I didn't do any incline today just didn't really wasn't in the mood to even get on here to begin with so it is what it is but we got 40 minutes in so about to drink a bunch of water real fast and then head out to my son's work pick him up from work um, probably shower real quick and then get over to my youngest son's school to pick him up and then come home relax for maybe an hour and then I'll start dinner maybe not quite an hour 45 minutes or so and then start dinner so anyway that's all I got I'm sitting outside my son's work and I grabbed a pack of this trail mix that we picked up from Costco when we went shopping last weekend um, it's freaking amazing. This is like my new favorite little snack. And yeah, trail mix tends to be higher in calorie and stuff, but there's so many good fats and stuff in here and it's a little sweet. So it curbs your sweet tooth at the same time. It's got peanuts, M&Ms, raisins, almonds, and cashews. My favorite. I don't like, um, walnuts and I, I can deal with pecans, but I don't really care for them. But I cannot stand walnuts. Anyway, this has been freaking delicious. I've been snacking on this because I started getting hungry right before I left the house after I got off the treadmill. Anyway, that's all I had to say. Chicken started in there.
just shook up some green beans with some olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder to go with the chicken. All right, guys, the chicken may have gotten overcooked just slightly because I got a little distracted, but the chicken is good. Green beans are ready to go. But I think that's going to be it for the night. We're going to cut up this chicken, have some green beans, and then I think we're going to serve it with some cottage cheese um, instead of roasting potatoes. I just didn't, I'm tired. didn't feel like doing it, so... Anyway, we are going to say goodbye for now. I'm trying to figure out where I put the cottage cheese. I see it. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to say goodbye for now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you made it to the end, please feel free to like and subscribe and help our channel grow. All right, guys. Have a good night.